All right, well, hope that works. Something tells me I maybe should have smoothed it out with like a credit card or something like that to make it nice and flat. But I hope that I put enough weight on there to, uh, to fix it. Anyways, it's on there for sure now. I'm just gonna leave it overnight and go do something else. I'm waiting on the door panel to dry. And so what I'm going to do is put the poly wall in here on the shower corner. The hope here is just that it'll make the wall and the whole shower area a little bit more watertight. Put a tape, piece of tape along the um, along the board when I ran the caulking. That way, I could take it apart and still get a straight line. Turned out pretty well. I'll just scratch this off later. I think it turned out well. It's a little messy, but I'm very confident that it. Won't leak much water. I think we're ready to put the door in. I just need to wait for it to dry. The liquid nail says 24 hours. Something tells me that's a little generous, but I put it on last night around 10 or 11 o'clock, so I'm gonna give it at least 14. Okay, I kind of jumped the gun and just did this project all on my own. Basically, I needed access to the AC thing that's back here and also mm -hmm. These lights need to be changed. They run back here and then they're connected to the 12 volt system back here. I used the multi-tool to cut it out. I used the grinder to cut this piano wire. I used these screws that I countersinked in. I sanded the face of the board. I cut a little piece for the back so the screws had something really strong to anchor into. I cut two little pieces of quarter inch plywood and then glued them together separately. And then finally I've glued them into the outside here. I don't think I'm gonna need any hardware because the wood glue is gonna be entirely sufficient to manage this area. Interesting, okay, it's catching right here. Just gotta shave off a little bit of this area and then it'll should close perfectly fine. I wouldn't necessarily call this the most elegant clean solution of all time, but I do think it's cool that this thing holds it down so I don't need to install a latch here, which makes it even like cleaner and more simple. So if I were to check, if I wanted to run some electrical stuff or I wanted to adjust things, you can just pull this off and then open up here. You've got access to the lighting, to the rope lights, so you can switch the rope light out. You got the fan if you need to access that for some reason. You could also run 12 volt wires using this and then sticking them through there. And uh, then you just close it up. Put this guy on there. I don't know. I think it's fine. <laughs> Obviously that 3M tape's not going to be good enough to uh, keep it up there. It's kind of fine for taping it right now. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to use some clear type silicon type stuff to just sort of dab in bits so that the silicon's supposed to be able to adhere to tile and I think that that'll hold it in place. Once this stuff dries, this should tape should be really well done on the walls. All right, now it's time to go get the door. I think it's time to put that door on.
Oh, I totally screwed up. When I put the weight on the door, it must have slid it over at some point and I didn't realize it. Oh, well, the good news is, is that the door is sits inside of the wall deeper than this. So I don't think that it's gonna be something that I really, really need to take care of, but I really wish I just got it right. I've gotta trim the plastic off of this thing right here like this. Ugh. In hindsight, I should have just used pieces of plywood, put them across, and then clamped them all down and just done like 12 of them like that. I mean, it's not even like this flat, my flat surface plan was so that it wouldn't get, have any ripples in it. But as you can see, there's even some little ripples in here. So anyways, I'm not gonna build a new door, so this one's still gonna work fine for my purposes. I think once it's up, maybe it won't be that big of a deal, but uh, I just wish I didn't screw so much stuff up. That side turned out great. Look at that. Despite my screw up, I still think it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna work perfectly fine in the kit in the bathroom. Now it's time to put the hardware on. I'm gonna use these large screws. These large screws came with the pocket door. When I put the drill bit, the way I picked this drill bit is I just pulled the drill bit up to the to the screw like that. And basically I'm just trying to get it so that the drill bit is as big as kind of the shaft of the screw. At the same time, you don't want to make it so big that the teeth don't bite in. You can see that the teeth will go on either side of it, but the shaft will take, will clear out the most of it. So I think that'll work well. Now the depth's not gonna matter much. So I'll just hold the screw up to there. I might as well just go as deep as I need to because we have a little bit extra depth with the wood that's on the header of the door. So right now I can just go all the way in and then I know I'll have the depth that I need. I find that when screws have this head, it's best to use one of these. It's kind of got like the square and the Phillips. That'll get you the most, the least strippage. It's kind of a tight fit, you know? Finally, I used a one by one to basically make like a temporary piece of wood that I held in the door. And so I'm just gonna copy the exact same place because this is where I found that it was easiest to install it. And so that way, I don't have to play much of a guessing game. All right, looks like the hardware is installed. The door is stained. The edges are all on. It's ready, it's ready to go. I'm gonna put it in now. This thing's heavy. Man, that was like going to war. My lamination job's not doing great. I think I'm gonna use some nails to tack it into place. Hopefully it'll hold it there. It'll work for a while. And I gotta do a little bit of adjustments on the thing, but Overall, it fits. It's not dragging on the ground. That was the biggest thing I was worried about. So right now we are on a very sideways slope. And so I don't want to try to adjust to try to make it level right now because obviously uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's going to lean the way that the bus is tilted. And so I don't have to worry about that right now. Right now what I want to do is adjust the way that the jam hits the sill. Here, let me show you. Okay, so when we close this guy, it touches up at the top, but it doesn't touch down at the bottom. There's a continuous difference all the way up, which is good news. I mean, it just means that we need to either tighten this screw or loosen this screw. And the uh, pocket door kit comes with this, so it's pretty, it's pretty easy to do. 
That was really hard to film and do at the same time. Anyways, I loosened this one up pretty significantly and I tightened this one up pretty significantly. And now, when I close the door, I mean, it's really tight. If I hadn't screwed up the lamination job, it would be pretty much impervious. But that is going to be acceptable. Now, right now, when I slide the door back and forth, it's just dragging across the wall right there. And that makes sense because we're on a slope, but still, I don't want the surface to be dragging. So there's one more piece of the hardware. These are basically just door guides. I think they go in just about like that. And therefore, if the door leans on one side or the other, these guys absorb the movement and therefore the whole door doesn't rub on the surface. I'm only getting a little bit of door rub now. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. The talk pocket door turned out pretty well. I think that uh, there's always room for improvement, but uh, overall I'm pretty happy with it. Once I put a handle on, it'll be great. I'm getting pretty bust out, I'm not gonna lie. I'm uh, looking forward to having daily bus projects as a thing that I did a while ago, but um, I still do enjoy one of the, once the jobs are kind of complete. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any specific questions, feel free to jump over to the blog and leave a comment or just leave some comments down below. I really appreciate hearing from everybody who's finding anything useful in these videos. Um, I don't know what else to say. I think that the thing is, uh, yeah. All right, have a great day. Bye.